Okay, I want to talk about uh, building this widget uh, that Vitaly Bulgarov had created for his sloth robot model and kindly shared with us. So first I start off uh, in uh, the front view with uh, perspective turned off and I draw my golden mean rectangle, knock off the corners a little bit, extrude it out with push-pull, and then I'll use the round radius tool from Frito. And I uh, use this a lot. Basically, it's set uh, very nicely. It allows us to set the number of segments. In this case, we've got 10 that we're going to use. I'm going to change the radius here, kind of play with it a little bit while I'm in the tool from 5 to 4 and end up eventually settling on 3. Uh, Frito makes great solid tools and I really like using his products. Um, so now that once we get this uh, wrapped up, what I'll do is I'll create an offset. Uh, that little offset, I'll do a quick little push-pull on it. And then just use the line tool to draw uh, across these boundaries. And the line tool automatically does these intersections for me. But it's actually building a plane now, even with the, the offsets. So I have to delete that, which I just did. Now I'm using Solid Inspector. Great another tool that I use quite a bit to uh, check to make sure everything's good. Do a couple more push pulls to extrude things out. Again, I'm going to use this tool called Select Curve, which is great because it allows me to quickly select uh, continuous uh, curves. Uh, I'll go in here and notice how Right there, the radius is not what I want it to be. It's going to be too far out, creating uh, anomalies. So I'm tweaking it so I can get that green line inside like I just did there. So I'll go 0.6 seems to work. Okay, once again, solid inspector, everything looks good. So uh, now we'll uh, uh, go to the front view and we'll use uh, Artisan's tool. It's kind of a slicing tool. Uh, it's a great tool you can uh, use. It's going to cut through all the geometry. So you have to turn perspective off and look at it from an orthogonal view, in this case, we're the front view. So I've set it up, uh, sliced through it, I put a line in there, and I notice it cut completely through the whole model. So it's a pretty nice, did not create an interior face either. So uh, now I push pull, we're back to building the model, push pull the inside, push pull the outside. We'll again use uh, the round radius tool from Frito to build this uh, little curve. <clears throat> again, once I've used the tools, I always do a quick solid inspector quick offset here. Uh, and then I'll use the radius tool. And this radius tool is cool. The three point radius tool, if it gets to this tangent edge, you can basically, once you set it up, all you need to do is get that little blue dot, double click there, and it'll draw a radius everywhere it is. So it's a really cool tool. Now I can push pull those in and out, but that's a, that's a, a good tip. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle. I use 46 sides for it. I'm adjusting it in that space. Uh, a push pull to get it here. Then, of course, I'll uh, do the size with the option key held down to make sure I resize it. A couple offsets. Uh, then I'll go ahead and, and push pull this. Now, I'm going to turn off. I'm going to uh, uh, what I'm using. I'm using the actual cursor to identify which is the vertical line here. So once I found use that cursor to find the the vertical line, I can actually build off of that the actual parts that I want uh, that I'm trying to draw in. So that cursor again. Here I've noticed the vertical lines in the middle. I drew those out, okay, turn off uh, the wireframe mode or the, the transparent mode, x-ray mode, and uh, I've pulled that out. Uh, again, I'm gonna draw, a re I use that cursor again to identify exactly where I want, where, where the middle of this is gonna be. So that cursor, hold the shift key down when I get the red, I can get that, that exact line right in the middle. Uh, then I'll use Frida's tools, again, drawing on a surface. The only tool I know that can actually draw a rectangle from the center. So that's what I'm using here. So I've created a rectangle from the center. And once I've got the rectangle from the center, I'll delete the, uh, the internal uh, faces and little dot, extrude it out. I'm gonna do the same thing. Draw another set of guidelines, turn on x-ray mode so I can get it right. Draw another, uh, using Fredo's tool, uh, draw another rectangle from the center. Again, push pull, get it out of there. Now I'm gonna put some circles on here. First I wanna get a guideline. It's going to get me to the center. There it is. And I'm going to put a circle. I'll change the size to 16. And I'll draw it. And then I'll use, uh, once I get that done, I'll use the mirror tool. The mirror tool, which will mirror about three points, which is a plane. So, um, and uh, uh, what we've done, we've mirrored that actual object. We've taken both of these. And now we've uh, uh, basically uh, extruded them in, uh, are out, uh, are into the object. Now I'm going to go back out here and do another offset. Clean it up a little bit, draw some lines in here, uh, and uh, make sure everything looks good. 
I'm going to push pull this, but I'm going to use, uh, actually, I got to put some lines in here first, get rid of that. Push pull that just a tad, and we'll I'll put a line in here. And then I'll use vertex tools, Tom Tom's vertex tools, to move this out. I use that quite a bit. I love that tool. It's a great, great investment. Uh, so set that where I want it. Now I want to basically create an area in the middle of this, which I can use to uh, uh, to actually. Here you can see where I'm drawing it off there. Uh, I can use to actually uh, create this section in the middle. So uh, I've already got a group. I've grouped the original surface first, and I'll explode that group. Then I'll just take this stuff and intersect it with the selection. Uh, and I can delete the old stuff, turn on the x-ray mode, and delete the inside stuff as well. <coughs> and uh, uh, now I'll use the uh, joint push-pull. Double check the solid spectrum. The joint uh, push-pull uh, from Frito again. Uh, make sure that I'm using the erase the original face and not keeping the original face. So sometimes you want to keep, make sure in this case I want to use the erase. I'll drag that to where I want it. Once I've got it done, I'll do another quick uh, 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 select curve tool and we'll go in and do a quick radius on it. And uh, once again, we'll do a solid inspector. Everything looks good. So let's click over here, again, uh, select the curve tool, put a radius on it, and check the solid inspector. And once you get that done, you'll see that it all looks just about perfect. So uh, so anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, uh, it's something that's fun to do for me, and I hope that works out. Uh, Give someone other ideas on how to model. Thanks.